August 11th, 2012, Mark Vogt, 2001 Porsche Boxster, my baby, but it's been uh, showing leaking, leaking only on one spot, way down underneath here, continual dripping. Every time I top it off, it'll, it just bleeds out down here, steady drip, 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 until I lose about a gallon an hour, which is bad, so we're trying to find out what's wrong. Normally on this side, once the mechanics look at it and check the engine and tell you that there's no leaks there, the biggest culprit that I've heard about is the coolant overflow tank. Notorious for getting old. Once it starts to yellow, it breaks and leaks. So we need to leak check it. You know, you can start the engine up, run the coolant through there, get it all hot till it gets up to pressure around 15 PSI, and then look for leaks, but that's a messy and hot and painful business. So the next best thing, the preferred solution, is to go to Harbor Freight Tools and get this entire kit from Pittsburgh. This is my original cap that I have to match. It turns out to be number seven here is a perfect fit. I have the entire system hooked up here. You, uh, let's bleed off all the pressure. Once the pressure's off, I can release this. So that's what it looks like installed, that particular adapter. Then it's just a question of hooking the actual pumping unit up, pumping it up to 10 or 15 PSI, and starting to look to see if you can find a leak. So there's what we're going to do. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. I'm going to sit and put this on. It's not so bad. It's just your standard compression testing here. So i got zero PSI right now. I'm going to set the phone down or try to figure out how to pump it. Nope, okay, can't do it with two hands. Hold on. Okay, we're pumping up to 10 PSI as quickly as we can. At least you can hear this part. Okay, I can already hear something. Here I've got my gauge on my pressure showing 10 PSI. Great, so far so good. Now, let's go down and look for leaks. And what do we see? Absolutely, has some kind of a leak going on there. That's where all my coolant has been going. So, if I ever needed proof that there's something wrong with my overflow tank, well, that's what it looks like, guys, when you pressure test. That's what it looks like when it's completely messed up. It sprays all over the tank, or all over the trunk, and when you've got carpet all the way around here, it sucks it all up, so you're wondering where the hell it's all going to, and eventually it drains out. And when I run out of pressure, you can see I actually, the water was all the way up to here. I put distilled water in because I knew this was going to happen. I literally lost a half a gallon of water under pressure. I lost a full half a gallon of what would have been coolant in a minute, in a single minute. sad but at least it's a definitive test that there's something wrong with my overflow coolant tank which means this entire unit needs to be replaced now here's the other tip you're going to be tempted to go out on eBay and want to go and find a used piece but the minute it starts showing wear that looks like this yellow instead of a, a very clear milky white that looks like say my distilled water container if it doesn't look like this you're an idiot to buy it no matter what the price because you're going to go through a lot of trouble to replace this. It's a couple of really easy bolts and screws to completely release it from the framework. But back here, there's actually one, two, three additional hoses that have clamps on the other side of the firewall here that are a bitch to try to get at. And the agony that you're going to go through to get that done, only to put in something that might actually fail within a couple of months because it's just as old as the one you're replacing, no. Spring for the 250 bucks that you see out on eBay and get the complete brand new replacement part. Hopefully the latest model, there's about three versions, three generations of this overflow coolant, overflow container, overflow reservoir. And you want to get the newest one that's supposed to be the least prone to failure. That's it. That's what I got to go do more later. But I wanted to show you guys how to do a leak check. This turned out to be a fabulous tool. Wish I could have returned it. 
I only needed it for 15 minutes, but at least I'll have it in case I ever need to do a test again. But absolutely definitive test showing me where the leak was.